Hey there! Welcome back to the bus! Come on! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of us working on the bus. I'm Johnny and this is our bus, Miles of Smiles. Regan is out there. She'll say hi later. Hi! Greg's here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, our bus is slightly holy right now. We're gonna make that worse today. So today's goals are basically rip out the rest of the floor. Um, we're slowly figuring out how to do this. Basically all of the heads uh, that drill down into the cross beams uh, that secure the floor are rusted out. So that means we're basically having to go out and cut it with a saw and just use a bunch of crowbars and work it out and figure it out. There's really no good way of taking it out. Uh, we have figured out that kind of cutting along the edges where the rusted screws are, at least lets us get big sections out and then we can kind of chip away at the edges. This definitely isn't uh, your standard schoolie procedure. Most schoolies, uh, the floor, the bottom floor is metal. So this is uh, a shuttle bus. Uh, a little different than a lot of schoolies and how they're built, but for us, um, we're going to, let me see if I can point. Basically this plywood, this plywood is sitting directly on top of the frame and or directly on top of these cross members. So these cross members run horizontally uh, throughout the bus. So there's another one here that goes all the way there. So we've moved our pole, we removed it, and then now it's placed back on a cross member. And so that plywood sits directly on top of there. The reason we're taking it out, you know, it's 20 year old plywood. Um, it, some of it was water damaged, it's got rusted screws everywhere, and we need to rust treat the frame anyways and replace a few of these cross members. So that being said, uh, we, taking the floor out was just kind of something we, said, we knew we were going to do because it's going to make it easier to treat the rust in the frame and not have to do everything from down below um, and on our backs or crawling around, and then it's just going to give us easier access to everything. So. Today I'm even probably going to take care of some of the coolant lines, hopefully, depending on how long it takes us to get the rest of this out. So I think we're going to kind of tidy up these wires back here because they're in our way and uh, zip tie them up out of the way so we can get the pieces out all the way back there. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. Tear out the floor. So let's do it. All right. Uh, we're getting after it. And Nick and Caroline are back. Came back to join and help out. Going to get cranking away here banging and crowing. Okay guys, well most of the floor is out, it's delicate walking in here right now. This is back to front here, so here is the back of the bus, nice and we got some rusty guys that are going to go bye bye. So we repositioned our poles again, they're still good, holding the bus up. We're going to get these boards out of the way, you'll really be able to see. As you can see, we got some to deal with. And that guy 
is supposed to be sheet metal. It's completely rusted out over the wheels. Same on the other side. Then there's this random piece of sheet metal here in the middle. We're not quite sure what it's for, so we gotta figure that one out yet. Peanut gallery. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun, huh? Peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, it should be a good time. It's gonna yeah. get rid of all the rust, you know? Yeah, so we get to... Now we gotta kind of assess. We're gonna get these guys out of here. And we gotta get that here out so we can get that front piece out. But then it's time to really assess uh, our situation and what are these guys are going to be replaced, take some pictures so we can start talking to a welder. And uh, yeah, this, this is kind of crazy. What do you think, Rag? What? What do you think? Taking selfies with my beer. Oh, what do you think of the ground? Um, it's terrifying. <laughs> Not can you not right? tell that I'm standing on the one piece of plywood that's still on here? True, that is the one. Well, and the front's got like a little piece. Other than Jim that, it's uh, pretty rough. Time to figure that out probably, I think. Look at all that floor. All right, guys, we're getting to the end of the day. Uh, didn't do a very good job of filming all day. We got a new camera and we only have one battery, so had to let it charge for a little while. Uh, and if you've noticed that things maybe look different, it's because we have a new camera. Uh, unfortunately, I was using my EOS R, which is one of the cameras I use for work, uh, being that I'm a videographer. And it was on a flimsy tripod and a tipped, lot of wind a lot of wind and it tipped over and crashed so nine hundred dollars in repairs later and i decided we're not going to do that again so bought this canon m50 a nice little guy and a little easier for reg to use too hopefully i know but, i took that a little bit hurt my self-esteem a little bit when yeah. you said that but she's doing a great <laughs> job with doing the other one but this is way better uh but anyways new camera only one battery uh, so that's why we couldn't show you very much, but we made great progress today uh, having Nick and Caroline here. Nick and or Regan and Caroline were our support team. Uh, the best and, supervisors. <laughs> best supervisor team. <laughs> and Nick and I really uh, made some solid work. So I'm going to show you Nick's vacuuming right now. He's just carry, getting carried away doing our end of day vacuum for us. I know, he, to, be, to be fair, Nick just takes over and just goes for it without even thinking. He does. I think too much. Yeah. So that's why he's a better partner for Johnny. Yes. <laughs> that's very true. So let me show you where we're at. Look at Nick. So nice. Oh, right, hey. Nice so. Just stand on the gas tank. Yeah, Nick's just gonna, that's safe. All right, people. We don't have a floor in our bus. Uh, and this is not normal. This is how you get to get her on the bus now. You get to just play jungle gym. Woohoo! And as you can tell, things are definitely rusty. But we knew that. And uh, we're going to make good friends with a, with a welder here in the near future, hopefully. So we're going to get cleaned up here and then go have some dinner and chill with Nick and Caroline. This is kind of crazy. So... Really, our next step for the inside is to get this welding done. So we're going to take a bunch of pictures here, get in contact with some welders uh, and get in contact with some, some uh, steel providers uh, because we're really probably going to be replacing a good amount of the cross, beam, cross members that are sitting on top of the frame. Um, there's some that might be okay, but after sandblasting and things like that or however we're going to take care of the rust, they might be kind of rough and not that great. So... We may be better off just replacing them, but Nick and I have kind of been talking about how we're gonna go about doing that, what is maybe a good way to make this frame a little bit better, because as you've seen before, if you've been watching this, this bus is not built that great. Uh, but it's a bus from the 2000s, it's not a school bus, 
This is a shuttle bus. It's a fiberglass body. And that's basically what the body was, was fiberglass and a few pieces of metal holding it together. We're gonna get clean in here, end of the day. Well, we'll probably combine it with tomorrow. We'll probably come back here, out here tomorrow uh, and do a few more things, assess a few more things, uh, but enjoy the night tonight because we earned it. Nick uh, earned it. He earned some relaxation. So yeah. Nick might get MVP of the day. Peace. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get clean in. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Hello everybody and welcome back. It is the next day. Um, we already got some lines coming out of the bus. We always do this, we just get carried away when we get here. Let's step inside and show you the status of the bus and what we're hopefully gonna do today. It's kind of a lot of little stuff because we're really nearing the end of kind of this demolition and being that we don't have floors in, there's not a whole lot that we can do because a lot of our walls and framing and things that we're going to do on the walls uh, is going to kind of be dependent on what or when the floor is done um, and being able to secure things to the floor and whatnot. So take you inside, show you, uh, talk you through some things and show you what we're going to do today. kind of wild to be in here to be honest you guys this is uh yeah wow uh a lot going on in here and uh, a lot to do here things we're going to do today is these lines where we cut the fiberglass um there's a piece of wood behind a piece of wood behind here and so basically what we want to do is clean these lines up and cut them all the way across both on the top and then also on the bottom so along the windows all the way along the bottom and then also along the top on both sides so basically that's just going to give us a good spot to probably put some uh some sort of running board there we're definitely going to do a running board down here like another we already did these two by fours to connect the chair rails, but we're probably gonna do another two by four underneath this other board, uh, just for some extra place to secure it to. What you doing? Testing uh, <laughs> what I can walk on. <laughs> then another piece of what we're gonna do today is the rest of this fiberglass down to here. So basically, the bus floor met the wall and then was fiberglassed in, so it was like a curve and we cut that out um, and then this fiberglass continued down and covered like a wooden board and all this insulation obviously which is the same crappy insulation we've been taking out and those boards have pretty much completely rotted through um, and we're probably not going to replace them with boards we're probably going to replace them with a piece of steel on the end uh, rather than a board that's just probably going to rot out again a lot of fiberglass cutting today probably <laughs> Regan's favorite. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> this morning, I said, oh, we were doing some yard work, and then I said to Regan, I said, uh, are we going to go to the bus today? You know, because we we've got, it. we planned on it, and, you know, there's some things we could do at home and plenty of that, but I said, are we going to go to the bus today? And then I, Regan said, what are we going to do? I said, well, we got some more fiberglass to cut out. And she said she didn't want to come then. <laughs> but we're here because it's got to get done. And there's going to be stuff that you don't want to do, but the reality is it's got to get done. And the quicker you can get it done, the, the better. Then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So it's like this is the last little bit of cutting this crap out that we're going to have to do. So might as well get it done drink with. Drink a lot of beer. Drink a lot of beer. <laughs> Rip off the band-aid and just do it. We're gonna get fiberglass and I'm gonna try and probably keep the camera a little away from us uh, because fiberglass is part of what destroyed my nice camera and we just got this camera. So not gonna destroy this one right away. Don't need fiberglass in the lens. That's um, okay, we also understand that you don't wanna watch us cutting out this fiberglass yeah. for the millionth yeah, time. Yeah, you also don't wanna watch the struggle of us cutting this fiberglass. So we'll probably just do a quick time lapse of far away. Yeah, kind of a random weird day. 
of uh, doing what we can, really, and that's what it comes down to, odds and ends. So yeah, let's let's get cutting. I'm gonna get geared up here. Remember, anything with fiberglass. If you're cutting fiberglass, get your mask, get your eye protection. Open probably your open your windows. Probably should have on something besides short sleeves. I've at least got pants on. I have a sweatshirt. But um, I'll be fine, and we're not gonna be cutting that much. I don't think. I think hopefully this stuff's gonna come out in pretty big sections. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so came upon a little bit of a dilemma. Ooh. Our walls at this point are completely disconnected from the side of our bus. So let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. Basically, here's how the walls were held in. So there's the wall, then there used to be you know, cardboard insulation, piece of fiberglass. Well down here in this piece, there was a piece of wood which is what I was talking about earlier, that's basically rotted out. And so, that wood, or through that wood, there's bolts from the outside that hold the top panel down. There's big bolts, or big screws, that come in and drill into this piece of angle iron, which has rotted out in some places. And then the bottom piece, that's a small, just like, couple foot, oh, almost just fell couple foot uh, this bottom piece comes up and meets it and then there's some small screws that go in there and on this side on this side we didn't have any issue with the bolts getting in our way to pull out this bottom stuff but on this side the bolts are very much getting in our way so there's one of the bolts there and so that's coming through the f that layer of fiberglass that we're trying to get out and it's making it pretty difficult to get it out and so basically what I decided I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the bolts out from the outside and I'll show you on the outside what it looks like. My reasoning for that is because the bolts aren't gonna be doing anything anyways. A lot of them are now missing on the side that we already took out and so because of those two pieces overlap the bottom piece is still hanging on to the top piece and the top piece is hanging on to the top of the bus where it meets the roof line and it's secured in there. Um, so yeah, it's kind of freely hanging. I mean, we have our poles pushing upwards on the roof and the walls are kind of freely hanging. But there, you know, there's a seam where they meet in the back and a seam where they meet in the front where it's also still connected. So the walls aren't just gonna collapse. Yes, they're flimsy right now and floppy and we don't wanna be pushing against them a bunch and putting a bunch of pressure against them. But those bolts really aren't doing anything anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out because they're in our way and I can't get anything else. I can't get a Sawzall back there to try and cut some of this out. Um, and I think the bolts are really causing us issues. So time to get the bolts out and see what happens. So this is what I was talking about. Here is this big panel from the top that comes down. It starts all the way above the windows and comes down. Actually, it doesn't even start above the windows. Let me take that back. I think it starts here comes down and overlaps this piece by an inch or two, probably two inches. And there's big bolts securing this top piece into that piece of wood on the inside and going through the fiberglass. And then there's these smaller bolts, which also were going into that piece of wood, but are basically just to secure this overlapping piece to the other piece coming down. So I think if I take out these bolts to get them out of our way, they're not holding the wall in anyways. The wall is going to be flopping and moving just like the other side. The other side basically has no bolts attached and there are no repercussions. And these are going to come out and get replaced anyways. They're rusted and we're going to screw them into steel this time instead of wood. So um, let's take some out and fingers crossed nothing bad happens.
All right, Nick and Caroline just showed up to say hi and see if they could help at all. So uh, they brought the dogs. Time for a little dog and beer break. I already spilled on myself. I swear I've only had one beer. Always fun watching the little doggies run around. Nick, Scott, Nick and Caroline have two little Chihuahua wiener dogs and Willa loves them. I need to get lost in there. She would. <laughs> Happy pups.